Can you say Happy Easter? <gasps> oh, hi, are you excited? Hello! Hi everyone! Welcome back to another video. Welcome to me show you the obscene amount of things that TikTok made me buy. I don't know about you, but every time I go on TikTok, I'm either hopping right onto Amazon, hopping right onto Sephora, or hopping right into my car and going to Walmart before the quarantine. Because these people, they just find the best things. I have amassed quite the collection of products that TikTok has made me buy. I'm also drinking a TikTok coffee or what is known in my family as a Greek frappe. How cool are these straws? They're glass straws. I way prefer them over like the stainless steel straw because I find the stainless steel straw gives it a little bit of a taste and then I was always weirded out. Like even if I cleaned it properly, I was like not loving the fact that I couldn't see it. Like what was inside? What possibly could have been growing in there? So the game plan for this video is to show you guys all of the products that TikTok made me buy, use them, and let you guys know what I think about them. I will be putting mostly makeup on my face. I think I have three things that aren't makeup related. The first thing I want to show you guys is this. This is the Ordinary AHA 30% and BHA 2%. It is meant to be a dupe for this product from Drunk Elephant right here, which is the baby facial. Now, if I'm being honest, I've done the baby facial. My sister had it and she had an extra bottle and gave it to me. And I didn't find it that life changing. So if you guys don't know, The Ordinary is a brand that sells really good products. Like I like a lot of their products, but for very, very affordable. Like I think this was $10 or $12 or under. And out of the two, I would definitely go for this one simply for the price. I think the baby facial is over $100, which is crazy. The thing is, I don't find that either of them do anything. I don't know if I just haven't done them many times. Like I did this once a week for a few weeks and I just didn't really find that there was that big of a difference. I was really sad because you know, everyone hyped this product up. So I just cleaned my face and it is now dry. So it is this very scary red color. I'm not sure why it's that color. I don't think the baby facial is that color. I haven't done that one in years. And this one, burns not for the whole time but when you first put it on this mask freaking burns let me just tell you i did notice that my skin kind of looked a little bit smoother but then again i use like aha bha retinols all the time but like i said i didn't personally find that either of them did anything life changing for my skin maybe it's something that you have to do week after week after week after week to see a result, but let me know down below, am I doing something wrong? So this next one's going to be short and sweet, but basically the next product that TikTok made me buy, well it actually made my sister buy it and then it made me buy it, is the Dyson. And I thought I would give you guys a little bit of an update on the Dyson because I've had it for about two weeks now, I wanna say. I love it. There's a few reasons why. I feel like my hair doesn't get as dry when I'm using it, and I feel like the curls feel more like a blowout. It's super easy to use. It takes about exactly the same amount of time. But I also like that you don't have to wait for it to heat up. The little things, like the little things would bother me so much, like waiting five seconds for a curling iron to heat up. I'm gonna show you guys on the bottom section of my hair because I do the same thing from bottom to top, and I don't want to bore you guys to death, and then we can get on to the fun makeup products that TikTok made me buy. The last time I curled my hair with the Dyson was three days ago, so it's basically all uncurled. I'm just like wetting my hair. You can go like directly on dry hair. It'll still curl it, but it won't hold it as well. I normally wash my hair like every five days. I think I'm on day five. Normally on day four or five, my hair would be feeling super gross, like super dry, PC. but with this, like, it feels like day one hair. My favorite dry shampoo, if you guys are wondering, is the Brugio Scalp Revival. I'll link everything I mentioned, of course, down below. But basically, what you do is you take your Dyson and you wanna hold it upside down. And then, in the mirror, you're gonna look and see which way the arrows are going upside down. Okay, so then all you do, I have it at the highest wind, the highest heat. Turn it on, wrap it around, and I like leaving the ends a little bit out. And you have a nice like loose 
curly wave. It's not too much, it's not too strong, but it's really pretty. And when they're all like that, they're all fluffy and bouncy and curly. So that's the way I like doing it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my head. I'm also going to go ahead and wash off this mask in maybe like two minutes, cause you're supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes. Then the next time you see me, I will be in my dressing room and we will be playing with some makeup. Okay, I'm sorry about the mess behind me. You don't normally see that, but it's all clothes that I have to show you guys. And I haven't turned it yet. So um, let's get started with the makeup products that have changed my life because of TikTok. So this is the first thing I wanted to talk about. It's the one I wanted to talk about the most. It is the product, the number one product, I think, in a, this whole video that you need to order. It's from Amazon. It's the Dormer 211 Cream. Oh my god, that fake tan though. Basically in the TikTok, she was saying how this is a cream that her family has used for years. What I really like about it is that it is very, very hydrating, but it doesn't like feel oily, if that makes sense. And it also sinks really nice in your skin and makes your skin very, very hydrated. Um, and the kicker is that it is like 10 to $20 on Amazon. And I like it way more than Drunk Elephant. I like it way more than any other cream. It is seriously the best cream ever. The next thing that TikTok made me buy, which I've spoken about on my channel before, is this Clinique, Clinique ID cream. And basically what this is supposed to do is work with your skin and like create the perfect color tint and moisturizer. Now, do I think it's perfect? Absolutely not. It has like zero coverage, but what I like using this for, I actually haven't used it in a while because I haven't been going to the gym, but when I go to the gym, it gives me like the perfect amount of color. It kind of just evens out my skin tone. So it kind of just looks like that. It's like a gray color. And then I'm just going to scoop some from around the cap. And then I rub it between my fingers. You can apply it with a brush. I, you know, I'm lazy. So fingers are the way to go for me. Now, I don't think this is the best for paler people or people who don't want to look slightly like fake tanned or maybe orange. Like I personally don't mind that like to an extent, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it kind of just, I can totally see it in real life. It totally just added like a little bit of a tint to my face now there's no coverage at all it looks like my skin it doesn't look like i have any makeup on but it looks like i have a nice tan and maybe i'm like a little bit more alive especially if you're like rolling out of bed and going to the gym i personally do really like this product however i know it's very controversial and i know a lot of people have tried it and like hated it the next product TikTok made me buy was this um, e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now, this is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I don't have the original um, Silk Canvas, but I do have the Liquid Silk Canvas. And if I'm being honest, I don't really like it. It is, I find it very drying. I don't really notice that it does anything so I do prefer this one because because it is a little bit more hydrating I find the consistency just looks like that and I just take the tiny little bit and dab it where my pores are like the biggest I have pretty dry skin so I don't like when products are super drying I also find it works really well with the products I put underneath it and the products I put on top of it it's not so much of the Tarte one at all they're very different it does create like a very smooth canvas for your foundation which leads me to my next favorite product which is this right here it's the infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation so this is all over tiktok it that tiktok definitely made me buy this it's funny because i actually had this and my sister stole it from me and i never got it back and this i think is one of my favorite products that tiktok made me buy ever since getting this i haven't stopped using it it is just so good but what i like doing is mixing in a pump of my fenty hydrating primer i find that mixing the hydrating primer into it just makes it more suitable for dry skin and then also makes it look less like makeup -y. it is a very liquidy formula but when it blends into your skin it just really really looks like skin and it lasts all day it's probably the best lasting foundation i've ever come across i know i'm gonna have to pick up a darker color for summer but for right now i really like this color I would say that this foundation definitely is medium to full coverage. 
you can shear it out and get medium medium coverage or you can build it up and get like really full coverage all right so there's two concealers that tiktok made me buy the first is the elf 16 hour camo concealer and the second is the maybelline fit me now my walmart did not have the best selection of this elf concealer so it's quite light this is meant to be a dupe for the tarte shape tape concealer and i do think it's really good i think it might be slightly more hydrating and out of the two i definitely prefer the elf one i just need to get it in my right shade so i'm going to do a little combination of both i feel like the elf one has way better coverage than the maybelline one and I don't know if I said it, but I'm in the shade, I have the shade vanilla, but this one is like white. So I'm only going to put a little bit of this one, but it does have like really good coverage. I do like it. It's not my favorite concealer in the whole world. You guys know I'm obsessed with my Pat McGrath concealer, but for a drugstore, like I'm very impressed. And all of these products I have on my face last really well together. Like at the end of the day, I feel like they look obviously like I've worn the makeup all day, but they stay looking good throughout the day and I'm not worried about my makeup moving around or looking gross by the end of the day. This isn't part of like the whole TikTok products, but I'm gonna add some contour. I'm using the Huda Beauty contour in the shade Light. This stuff is super dark. When I first got it, I bought the shade medium thinking it was going to be perfect or even like too light. Like I was going to go with dark, but medium was so dark. So I'm going to go ahead, finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I have some more products to show you guys at the end. The last thing I want to test out with you guys are these cheek blushes i've seen these all i've seen these all over tiktok and i have to say i really do like them i have the colors nude burn and rose flush so if i show you guys the difference oh that was a lot i guess i'm putting on nude burn today because i put on a lot on my hand and then this is rose flush i just want to show you guys the difference this is rose flush you can see they blend out to be very sheer. And then this is nude burn. That literally did nothing <laughs> to help you guys. What I'm gonna do is go into a little bit of nude burn. Like I said, it's a very sheer consistency, which I do like. And then I'm just gonna go in and dab it on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so this product is pretty sheer. I'm gonna put a little bit on on my nose and my forehead to make it look like I was going into the sun because after this I'm filming like a summer haul which I ordered before all this happened so I don't know if you can tell that there's even blush on my face what I really like about this is that it kind of leaves you with like a dewy look certainly not a matte finish so it leaves you with a really pretty dewy kind of glowing look like as if you're on vacation which where we all want to be right now and then for my highlight i'm going to go in with this is my favorite highlighting product it is the pillow talk beauty wand in the color pillow talk obviously and this stuff like transforms your whole makeup look you guys you don't even understand i cannot do makeup without doing this oh i have blush everywhere so i just take a little bit on my beauty blender I need to clean. I also saw a TikTok hack for that. I want to do a whole video testing out like TikTok hacks. There's only so many hours in the day. I don't know why. It seems like this quarantine, I've been busier than ever. So I don't know. Can you see that glow? It just leaves like a filter on your skin. It leaves your skin looking like you have one of those really pretty Instagram filters on. And I just go around and put this like literally everywhere. Love this stuff. I seriously cannot live without it. I want to order a few more colors. Okay, so this is the final look. The last trick I wanted to test out with you guys is a TikTok little makeup trick where you draw a little line on either side of your mouth and it's supposed to make your mouth look bigger. So. Does that make me look insane? I don't know. I think a little bit is okay, but you can like very easily start going a little crazy. Okay, and one last product. I'm not going to use it on camera, but I wanted to talk about this. Um, this is another like family secret TikTok TikTok hack. It is the Therabreath Fresh Breath um, mouthwash. So 
I have a fear, you guys know, I have a fear of smelling bad, I have a fear of bad breath. I saw someone on TikTok saying her boyfriend used it, her and like her, her boyfriend's family used it, and it gets rid of bad breath, okay? I was like, oh, I need this super badly. So when I was at Walmart, I saw it. I got the Icy Mint flavor. This is what it looks like. I got the Icy Mint flavor. I should have got Mild Mint because this one literally burns my mouth so bad. So the other day, I ate um, Lebanese food and you know, like the garlic sauce. That stuff is so powerful. Like that flavor stays in your mouth for like days. And I used this mouthwash and then got rid of it right away. So if that doesn't tell you how powerful it is, I don't know what does. If I use it at night, I don't wake up feeling like I have bad breath. It is seriously just like a magical mouthwash. Yeah, that's my makeup using the products that TikTok recommended and made me buy. I will leave everything linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe and you're happy and you're doing well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week and I'll see you guys back here next time.